Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dumb Laws from the Grave. I'm your host, Grave Knives, coming to you from the Graves Court. Today, we're going to be going over to St. Peter's, Missouri, to examine a city ordinance. Not a state statute this time, not a federal statute. No, this is this is this is a little town. Well, it's not a little town, but it, it's a city ordinance, a town law, a city law. So, and I I stumbled upon it while looking for dumb laws. I found an article. Put in plenty of research time to find the damn actual law through the city through municipal codes and stuff like that the hunting it down was kind of a pain in the ass and i expected a little bit being this day and age it to be a little bit easier but i did find it i found the actual law so we'll pull it up we'll check it out uh i know what, what's 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 it about but a law and law what the hell could it be well i'm not going to keep you in suspense anymore thank you for checking out the episode so let's go ahead and let's see what they got Okay, so getting us started here, it's going to be this article that I stumbled across. And this is the article that I found while looking for dumb laws. And the, the title jumped out and just grabbed me and said, hey, hey, dumb law, right here, right here. Judge rules that St. Peter's couple must grow grass they're allergic to. Uh, this article is from March 29th, 2018. September 2019, so about a year and a half has passed since this article. However, this is not done. Like, it's still, to my knowledge, still ongoing. Uh, this battle is that these people are honestly, in my opinion, pretty much being victimized by the city of St. Peter's. Um, trying to be muscled around to do things. And if you don't, we're going to hit you with a bunch of money fines. This is Carl and Janice Duffner. A federal judge in St. Louis ruled yesterday that Carl and Janice Duffner can be forced to plant turf grass in their yard, even though Janice Duffner has severe grass allergies. Uh, the Duffners, if the Duffners fail to plant the grass under the ruling, the, the, Saint Pe the city of St. Peter's can sock them with fines that have potentially grown to well over $200,000 or even have them sent to prison for several decades. David Rollin of Freedom of the Freedom Center of Missouri, who is representing the Duffners, said that the ordinance is so absurd and the possible punishment so over the top, the case could ultimately end up with the U.S. Supreme Court. I hope it does. I mean, if that's the case, uh, because hopefully the, then they turn their attention to the other past judges and everyone else and like, why are you muscling people? Why are you like that? How is that not mob action? Mm -hmm. Anyways different type of mob action but uh not like a large group of people just you know mob organized crime to a is it's very organized this is organized crime anyway so the law itself though reads that you have to have 50 percent of your yard covered in turf grass and the reason for that law is because i'm doing a little paraphrasing here because i had to look this up and i'm trying to shorten this up a little but the reason for that is because of erosion they don't want surface water causing erosion, washing away the dirt and minerals and all that. So you got to have plant life. You got to have vegetation. Well, that's great. The only thing is, is that this is their this is their yard. This is their house. It's not like they don't have vegetation. They may not have the turf grass regulation, but if this lady is severely allergic to it, then there is that 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 right there is an automatic. You know, like okay, she's allergic to it. We shouldn't. You know. Just because we want our town to look a certain way, this woman shouldn't have to go through her life suffering. Like, that's pretty damn absurd. Uh, especially when you start talking about all the penalties that, that they've amassed that they could be hit with. That means, you know, they've probably, like, the argument, the distance, the time, the court. And, of course, you know, anything that, you know, the state does, they raise the price, like, tenfold. It's like going to a hospital. You're going to pay 10, 15 times the amount for that aspirin. That you would, you know, just go into the damn store. But anyways, uh, so you have to have 50% of turf grass. And now this law was pretty difficult to find. Now I will say this, there on another article here, uh, Judge tosses out St. Peter's Couple's lawsuit over grass requirement. Uh, this one was from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. They mentioned 
how that the uh, city had actually one time turned around and said, okay, you don't have to have 50%, but you got to have 5%. And all I could say is, damn, <laughs> you dick, <laughs> why? <laughs> if you're willing to drop 45%, all the way down to 5%, you're willing to kick out that other 5%. Obviously, it's not that, you know, that this is an exemption that is totally plausible and, you know, it has reason, has merit. So, anyway, so I wanted to, though, check this out. I wanted to, of course, look at the actual law because that's what I like to do. I like to actually see the damn law so that I know, even though this seems to be pretty well established, that this is occurring. But so I went to uh, the Saint Pe- the Missouri Saint Peter's uh, city, or the the main Saint Peter's government site, the town site, whatever you want to call it. And I went through looking on this damn thing for med- municipal ordinances, and I mean you bounce around for a while ordinances and specific speci- specifications for building projects. You know, I mean I bet I did some bouncing. Finally, in Saint Peter City Code, I come around here and um, let's see. The city of St. Peter's has contracted with Sullivan uh, Publications to update our city code. The link below will take you to their website. So they don't even have the fucking city code, the municipal codes or the the laws on their damn site. It's actually on a completely different site. So that's where you go through here. You click this link and you will be taken to this site. So and this is where you can find, you know, all your ordinances and government codes, stuff like that. Now, upon doing that, I tried to get in here, and you can't see it, but there's a little search bar at the top here. And I tried to search, and I tried to search. And I, should, I mean, I, I looked up and down, tried, tried to t- type in every damn key word that I could think of that would apply to this law so that I could find the damn law. Would do you think it would just pop up like, you know, most others do? Hell no. Hell no. Not with this one. No, I, I bounced around. I actually, I didn't even complete find it on the first day that I began this. It was actually before I went to record this and I said, you know what? No, I've got to find this damn code because I was going to let it go. I was going to be like, it's obviously a law. But anyways, I, I went back in. I looked again. I dug a little bit deeper and I found the damn thing. <laughs> Section 405.390 Landscaping and Screening. Uh, Article A, I guess, or I don't know how they refer to that. Article A, Section 4. Down here is actually where the law is wrote. Now, I'll I'll read the thing first, and then I'll tell you why this annoys the piss out of me. All landscaping shall be properly maintained according to city ordinances present presently in effect. A minimum of fifty percent of all yard areas shall be comprised of turf grass. Turf grass refers to all species of grass that are perennial, per, perennial. And are typically used for lawns such as, but not limited to, Kentucky bluegrass or perennial <laughs> ryegrass. I feel like a cat saying that word, but anyways, perennial. Um, trees shall not be planted within six feet of a property line. Okay, they are on the side or the rear yard, which is kind of a nice thing to see, you know, I mean, I guess, but trees could get you could, I don't know if you fucking grow an oak tree six feet from the property line it don't really make much difference does it <laughs> um the individual property owner shall be responsible for such maintenance okay so the thing that annoyed me about this is I I t- I've typed in literally 50 percent of yard must be turf grass and that somehow didn't ring up this paragraph in like keywords get the hell out of here but yes, this is the actual law. You have to have, you know, like they say, and like I said, it's, it do, if you read in a completely another section, it tells you, you know, it explains that about erosion, and that's apparently the reason why. So, which I, again, I like how they don't actually have the explanation as to why here. They just, you know, have the ordinance that this is what you're going to do. No explanation needed. Now, however, now we're going to go back to Carl and Janice Duffner. Now, unfortunately, the story still continues, and it gets, if you will, sadder as it goes, because um, this is now Janice Defner versus City of St. Peter's, Missouri. Apparently, Carl had passed away. Now, this is from uh, uh, July 18th of 
2019. That's just a few months ago. So this is still ongoing. Um, but this is another um, city of St. Peter's, Missouri, a municipality and political su subdivision of the state of Missouri. Oh, there, there's a lot here to read. Um, but basically, uh, coalition circuit judge Janice Duffner, along with her late husband, Carl, sued the city of St. Peter's, Missouri to challenge a city ordinance that requires at least 50% of their residential yard to contain turf grass. The district court dismissed the lawsuit, ruling that the Duffners failed to show that the ordinance violated the due process clause of the 14th Amendment or the 8th Amendment's pro prohibition against excessive fines and penalties. Even though, you know, you, you don't think that, a, you know, I mean, maybe, no, even a year and a half ago, fucking 200, over $200,000 in fines, that's not excessive over a lawn? How's that not excessive? I'll tell you how that's not excessive, because they're getting the money. <laughs> the Duffners appealed, and we're, and we affirm the dismissal of the substantive, substantive due process claim uh, of the alternative ground that it is barred by res judica. I don't know what res judica is. We conclude that the Eighth Amendment claim is not ripe for adjudication, so we remand the claim with directions to demiss it for the lack of jurisdiction. From here on, they kind of just go on to why they don't feel. I swear to God, there was something in here. The notice of appeal was was filed by Carl and Janice Duffner on January 2nd. Council notified the court that Carl Duffner had died. Janice Duffner continues this action as the sole uh, appealant. I almost want to say somewhere in here I read that... Um, it almost felt like they were like penalizing her because they didn't notify them right away or something. I'm not for sure, but this is an ongoing thing. July, I, 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 my, I go out to my heart goes out to you, Janice, because I mean, I that's terrible. The, you lost your husband and you've been dealing with this prick law, city ordinance that shouldn't even be. This shouldn't even be happening. You know, if anything, these judges that have prolonged this and continued this to go should be penalized just for the simple fact that this is a clear and obvious, you know, she's allergic to it. She's got the doctor's note. Let it go. The yard does have subsequent vegetation in it. Let it go. Even the city, you know, oh, 5%, you know, it's stupid. It's just stupid. I don't know. So, yeah, you definitely, St. Peter's, Missouri, you 100% get a freaking dumb law certified certified dumb law there we go certified dumb law certificate certification of dumb law you've got it and uh i, I think it's I, I hope that she wins and i hope she gets paid <laughs> for going through all this hell and that you know i mean who I, I don't know the uh the extent of her husband's passing but you know who knows? It probably would have to do with stress. I know if I was dealing with this where I had the city that I lived in for many, many years before they decided to, like, throw out a new law that I'm sure they were opposed to, you know, if they, if they were even know, if they even knew about it. Because a lot of times, like, you know, they're like, oh, well, we announce it all the time. Bullshit. Bullshit. Where's the bulletin board? <laughs> but, uh, no, they, uh, I, I, it's, a, it's dumb law. I feel bad for this lady. And I hope, it, like I said, I hope it works out for her. Anyways, thank you for checking out this episode. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you then.